What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out something that is absolutely amazing in every single way. What you guys are looking at is a real life, officially licensed Seto Kaiba Kaiba Corporation briefcase, just like the one from the DM anime. Oh my goodness, if I could get my hands on this, I would be on freaking Cloud9 because this is just so awesome. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping up with stuff like this, and I've made a couple of videos about some of the officially licensed dual discs made for adults that have, uh, you know, kind of been out there in Japan for uh, players and collectors and, and those alike to basically pick up over, I would say, maybe the last year and a half, Konami and NAS. NAS is the company that holds the licensing to uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. They've basically been taking kind of like replica products a lot more seriously. You guys probably remember from like the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! The crappy dual disc that you'd kind of get at like Toys R Us or KB. Maybe they cost like 30 $25, maybe even $50, but they were junk. They were made out of plastic. You'd end up breaking them. They couldn't really do anything like, like in the actual anime. Well, basically, Konami has kind of been working with these companies, high quality companies who make products for not really like young players. They're essentially made for adults. A lot of their products are made for cosplayers, they're made for collectors, they're made for just fans of the anime who actually are, you know, older. And uh, usually they say that on like the website, hey, these are not made for children, our, you know, core demographic is <laughs> kind of older. And you can tell that because of like the price. Now this briefcase actually is a full size briefcase. This is not something that is miniature briefcase or small or anything like that. I actually just did a quick Google search of the standard dimensions of what you might want out of a briefcase and according to their website it basically kind of lines up with it so you could even hypothetically use this at your job if you just wanted to i don't know flex on the rest of the office the guys and the gals that you work with you could actually just bring this in you could have your awesome kaiba corporation briefcase i always remember this from the anime because especially especially in like a uh, battle city when Kaiba had that duel with a random thug kind of in the alleyway and Kaiba had just got Obelisk and he told the guy, you can use whatever cards in this briefcase you want to build a deck. And the guy was like, oh man, look at all these sick cards. And then Kaiba just like summons Obelisk and OTKs them. So he used this briefcase a ton in the show. And I think it would be really cool if you could like get your hands on one of these. Now, these companies generally are only in kind of like Japan. It's kind of difficult to get them to ship these products to North America or Europe. In fact, these are not even products that are generally available in stores. Essentially, the way that these products work is that they're kind of made to order. You pay this company, um, you know, the price plus tax, and then they deliver it like five, six months later because they, they don't just keep a bunch of these in back rooms or anything like that. The second you make it or the second you order it, is basically when they start kind of making them. Or I guess they probably not even that. They probably start making them once they receive the orders and once like the cutoff period is actually over. Now, because the core demographic and the people that they're really trying to sell to are not children, they're not looking for younger players. They're mainly looking for, as I said earlier, cosplayers and fans of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise who are adults. These products do not tend to be cheap. And if you wanted to pick this briefcase up, this baby is gonna set you back about 150 Fifty dollars USD, which I actually do not think is that bad of a price. Yes, one hundred and fifty dollars can be expensive, and you could definitely find just a briefcase a lot cheaper than this. But if you ask some people on Wall Street how much they spent on their briefcase, like I'm pretty sure you'd find a lot of people who spent who spent well over that amount for the briefcase. And keep in mind, this is an officially licensed product, so it's not some knockoff or anything like this. This is something that Konami and NAS gave basically the thumbs up on and this is actually a very practical product i mean don't get me wrong the dual disc made for adults was awesome it played anime music and you know it had awesome features like the uh, actual voice actors uh from the like original dm and stuff but you guys see here you can fit cards in this <laughs> i think i think that alone makes it kind of awesome because this is something that you could actually take to your locals you could be that guy you could show up and you could have every single deck that you've ever owned you could have tons of your cards all fit in here i mean I, you could even 
Heck, you could even fit like your trade binder in here, your deck. You could fit a whole bunch of things that you generally would take, whether it be to just locals or to like a YCS level event. The problem with a lot of deck boxes, and I constantly hear this complaint, is generally they only hold like one or two decks. And a lot of times people will go to YCS, they bring like whatever their current meta deck is, and then they also bring like GOAT format decks or Teledad. They bring past format decks in case they want to play if they scrub out, but you know their friends are still there and maybe they haven't seen them in a while and stuff like that this uh you know this briefcase can basically hold everything so i think that that's pretty awesome i definitely would want to pick one up but unfortunately it's just such a pain in the ass to get like these companies to ship overseas so you know i might have to try to find this baby on ebay they're also going to be making a blue eyes white dragon statue i guess this is just kind of like a giant celebration of kaiba and it definitely looks legitimate you guys can see that it does have kind of uh i think that's the starter deck kaiba blue eyes art it's not the original one because the original one from uh legends of blue eyes white dragon looks a little different but it's definitely still a very iconic um version of blue eyes white dragon now this statue would set you back about 75 dollars usd which definitely isn't that much and the ordering period for this statue and the briefcase has already started it started on october 25th and it's going to run through november 27th so if any of you guys got like a friend in japan or you can figure out some way to get it to you outside of japan you have a little over a month to order them and then i think that they're scheduled to be delivered next february in 2020 i think that this one is about eight thousand yen and i didn't look that one up so let's just see how much that actually ends up costing 8,000 yen. Okay, so that's about $75, $75. So yeah, very cool, very cool indeed. The only problem with these products is generally they're just a pain in the ass to get if you live outside of Japan. You have to have like, you know, maybe your Japanese friend order it for you and then kind of, kind of pay them back or basically just kind of like wait for them to show up on secondary sites like Amazon or eBay, something like that. I honestly wish uh, maybe NAS or Konami would try to work with American companies or European companies companies to get them dispersed outside of Japan because there's definitely a market for these if you guys if you guys don't think that there's a market for the for stuff like this in North America and Europe you're definitely not in the know probably South America as well but you guys let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of these uh, officially licensed Yu-Gi-Oh products that have been popping up over the last year or so and would you want one of these I mean I'm just gonna put out a hypothetical if someone gave you this briefcase for free would you use it because easily the answer for me would be yes i would take this damn thing everywhere i go and i don't even work in an office anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn the notification bell for daily videos